Uh, we have with us today another congressman. Uh, he's the sixth highest ranking congressman, and he's from the 31st district in the great state of Texas. He's our hero who consistently advocates for quality of life in North Korea. Uh, please join me in welcoming Congressman John Carter. The Von Trapp family. Oh, Congressman John Carter. Yes. Well, welcome to your nation's capital. We are proud to have you here. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, they wrote me a speech, but I'm not going to make it. I, I hardly ever read speeches. Let me just tell you, uh, my district that I represent in Texas is the home of Fort Hood the largest military facility on earth. And in my community, I have a, a large number of Korean, Korean supporters, I'm, glad, I'm proud to say, that in, my, in the Killeen area. And so I'm very proud to, to see you here speaking out on behalf of Jesus Christ. That is awesome. We are proud to have you stand up for the church. My wife and I had the pleasure of going to Korea in um, 2004. Uh, and the first thing that struck me is, it was, with my age, I remember the Korean War as a child, and I remember the pictures from the Korean War, and the first thing that struck me when I arrived in Seoul, that a miracle had occurred in Korea. And so, you, it, so the, the country of Korea, in my opinion, is a miracle that has happened, which proves that hard work and free enterprise works. And the other thing that the cab drivers pointed out to us as Americans were the churches all over. Everywhere, gigantic church, Christian churches. Which, being a Christian, that, and my wife used to teach Bible study for many, many, many years. Uh, it, it really touched our heart to know that the, 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 the Christian religion was growing and well in, in Korea. And in fact, you are now leaders in many areas of evangelism in the, in the world. And I thank you for that. Finally, let's remember, I, I had the pleasure, or actually the, the concern, to stare across the DMZ at, the, uh, at North Korea and to see the contrast between the thriving of South Korea and the tragedy of North Korea. And we, are, we as Christians should never rest until those people too have the opportunities that we have. Right. <laughs> so, <laughs> excuse me, I thank you for coming here to, to Washington, D.C. to express your opinions, to stand up for your beliefs, and to represent the, the great Korean Americans that, that, that are all over this nation. We're proud to have you. Uh, we love you. And the only thing that I have to say negative is I have a little bit of trouble eating some of your food, <laughs> but that's my stomach's problem, not yours. <laughs> Thank you very much for giving, for giving me the chance to be here and to, to, to say hello to you. Uh, let's keep working to unify Korea uh, as a free Korea, and let's keep working to spread the news of the gospel. God bless you. Congressman is also a proud, has a, such a large, done so many things to improve quality of life, not for, for everybody. And he is the 17th sponsor, actually 16th on official record, for the North Korean Refugee Abduction Act. And we want to present him with a Voice for Freedom t-shirt. Thank you.